There's a fly in my room. What? <sighs> What's up, people? Welcome back to Biz oh, hey, Fathom. Well, Today, we're playing number two, Northwood Hitchhike. I'm really scared for this game. Honestly, I'm fucking terrified. <laughs> but, uh... <sighs> Let's get started. <sighs> oh, fuck, dude. I can't believe I'm playing this shit again, dude. Oh, my God. Fears of Fathom, episode two. Northwood Hitchhike. June 16th. This happened to me when I was 19. I'm a little over 21 now. I still remember this very clearly because of how creeped out I felt. I was a bit hesitant to write this out for the internet at first, but getting it out may help, even if just a little. I was one of these people that love gaming conventions. I'd go to every convention I get the chance to, and sometimes even meet some of my online friends. Man, I love that stuff, that's so sick. Though my parents weren't always thrilled to the idea of me going to on interstate drives, but a plane ticket would have been too expensive. This convention I was at went great, and it was now the day to drive back home. But when I set off, I soon realized the traffic was horrible. I decided that I'd take the long way to avoid the traffic. It was a little over a 12 hour drive. Whoa, for a gaming convention? What the fuck? WASD to drive, okay. <sighs> Driving at night is really therapeutic. Ah, I almost fucking crashed. I shouldn't be texting while I'm driving. In Australia, we get thousands of fines for that. Discord, we got ticks, so I'll see if I can get the car. Saw this really cool skate park nearby. Sounds fun. Discord, where are you? There's chat, and I guess the two mates. Ah! <laughs> fuck, dude! What the fuck? I'm trying to read. Can't you see? I'm trying to text here. How hard is it for you, champ? <sighs> Restart. Again, you sure you sure driving all the way back? I really don't have a choice now, do I? I could less tomorrow morning. Okay, give me a call when you reach back to your cave. Stuck in the biggest traffic jam of the country. That sucks. It's not too good here either. I think it's the people from the convention. That's it. I'm rerouting here. Okay. And someone else texted me too. It looks like Dad leaving now. Drive safe, Holly. Maybe maybe a girl. I guess you guys is. I might be playing as a chick. That's cool. All right. We're vibing. Turn some tunes on. Get cranking. And fucking really swerve here, can't we? Oh, 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 oh. Car crashed into him earlier. Fuck him. Dad. Hey, quit texting me while I'm driving. This is going to take fucking forever. Where did you reach? I still about six hours away from the city. Just sucking a jam. Yeah, man. Fucking terrible jam here, isn't there? Okay, this tunes are bumping. This car's kind of a shithole, isn't it? Oh. Near halfway through through the drive, I realized I was low on gas. All right. Let's turn this lame-ass music off. Dad texted again. Dad, you got to wait a second, pal. You're harassing me. Told you to take that flight. Oh, Holly, it's going to be late when we reach back home. Hope you're feeling all right. Yeah, it is going to be late, pal. I'm fucking driving 12 hours, dude. Oh. I think I saw a person, but maybe not. Gas station! God, poor turning circle on this thing, ain't there? Alright, let's fuel up at this shithole. Do we go in in America? Is that how it works? Oh. Hello? Jesus, you creepy fuck! What the hell are you doing? Hey there, squirt. Hi. Can I get $10 on pump two? Oh, this is how it works in America. Okay. You heading to the bridge by yourself? Huh? The Northwood Valley Road, I mean. Not a lot of people headed down there this time of year. Be careful. What do you mean? For about a century now, many people have been going missing down there. And people who went looking for them never returned. Locals say the Northwood Valley monster had torn them up and hung them outside down on trees. Thanks, man. What are you doing, you creepy fuck? You heard about the Northwood Valley monster? Huh? Never mind. Big mistake. 
What do you mean, big mistake? What did I do wrong? And one more thing. If you see a woman in a white or blue gown trying to get a ride, do not stop. Sip on the gas as hard as you can. Who is she? Some people say that she died in a car accident there on prom night. Some say that she seeks vengeance after she was murdered there. Regardless, she's out for blood. Whatever you do, never, ever, under any circumstances, pick up a hitchhiker. Those people out there on the road putting their thumbs out, they ain't what you think, man. They just ain't. <sighs> okay. Okay there. Oh. All right. We're out of here, squirt. Let's go. Nobody coming. We're rumbling. Being on the road, you do realize a thing. Monsters truly do exist. Never realize that on the road, and every single one of them just looks like you and me. What do you mean, bro? What do you mean, bro? What does that mean? Oh. Why are my lights out? They're back. <sighs> Fuck me, dude. What the hell? Oh, there's a car up ahead of me. That's good. We got people around. Oh. Dude, what is this, man? We're back. We're back online. I'm on a dirt road now, aren't I? This is a bridge I was talking about. Whoa. This is a big bridge. This is getting creepy. This is like full dirt road type shit, dude. Oh, yep. Damn, dude. Why am I last going out? Has this always been a problem? Or is this particular to the area? Six hours away? Oh. What the fuck was that? Why is it making those noises? It had red eyes too, man. <sighs> There's a very weird thing about that night. Oh. Big logs in the middle of the road blocking the way ahead. But I didn't think much of it. How the fuck am I going to move these? Yeah, heavy. They're like hundreds of kilos. A little bit sus. These logs are a bit sus. There's recent tire tracks here too, huh? I can see them on the road. Drive. 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 Am I not? Man, I'm gonna I'm gonna break my monitor, I swear. My car's smoking. Oh, you're kidding. And just like that, I was stranded in the middle of nowhere with no phone service. I'm not saying I was starting to believe whether the bullcrap that gas station clerk pulled. The lying of said I didn't feel a slight unease. Yeah, obviously. I don't mean to make it sound like a cliche horror story, but throughout my life, I was told not to take rides from strangers. Yeah, very, very, very clear cut evidence. But at that moment, I had no choice. I was scared to think how long it would take for some for someone to pass. That sucks, dude. 10.30 p.m. Oh, it's still early in the night, man. This is creepy. I saw a car nearing. Hey! Ah! Pure evil? I don't understand how someone could leave another human being stranded like that. Yeah, dude, what the fuck, man? You know, help a brother out or a sister. He almost hit me, man. What the hell? Waiting again. 10.43 p.m. I didn't even remember what was last time, but it was it was around 10 o'clock some point, I think. Still waiting. Girl needs to learn how to sort her car out. Oh. Hey there! Hello! 
I just need some some help real quick. You wouldn't mind, would ya? That's the store clerk. That's the store clerk, I think. No girl from the gas station. Hi. Didn't think anyone would stop for me here. What are you trying to do out here? I think my car broke down. I can't call for help. There's no phone service. You think I can get a ride? Where are you headed to? Just up the road. The nearest stop where I can make a call for help. Hop in. Thanks so much. Could you wait till I get my stuff? Hurry up. Just throw it in the back. I won't be here for too long. Okay, yes sir, yes sir, yes sir. I'm just picking up my shit, ain't that creepy? Don't make it sound so creepy. Am I just leaving my car here? Guess so, huh? This car is fucking... It's a piece of shit anyways. I guess that's it. Alright. Is he gonna anger at me for having the back of the trunk open? I guess so, huh? Alright, but I need you to get moving now. I'm done. Finally. Now hop in. Be quick. Okay. Fuck, man. Sorry. That person drove by because they know the stories of not leaving, not picking up hitchhikers. So, oh, I got chills as in. So you won't tell me who you are. Where are you going? I'd rather not say if that's okay. If you say so. Man. This is pretty creepy. You're really lucky I had to be on this side of town tonight. Yeah, I appreciate it, man. I must say, you're one brave young woman. How's that? You got any clue what happened to your car back there? It's an old car. That's it? I think so. What happened to my car, dude? So is it true? What, the monster? Let's see. I've never seen the monster for myself, but there are... There are some things. And I'm afraid your car breaking down could have been one of them. Hey, listen. I don't want to sound like that moron, but just remember this. You don't bother them, and you don't be bothered. I think I'm bothering this guy right now, honestly. He seemed pretty bothered earlier. Oh, 12.08 AM. He's been driving me for a while, huh? After a bit, bit of small talk, he dropped me by a motel. Apparently, they're offered roadside assistance. Besides, I thought I could use a little rest. Be careful. There are all kinds of people out there, he said ominously before leaving. Thanks, man. I appreciate ya. Hey there, squirt. What's up? The man was putting out the creepiest vibes imaginable. He's alright, he's Gal, need a room to shack up for the night? How much for a room? Um, yes, I'm only going to be here for a few hours. $40 for single. Pay cash only. Cash only, not traceable. Okay, cash only. Room number nine, right over there. $90. Tommy will take care of it next thing in the morning. We drove for a while, we drove about an hour. Good, I'll let Tommy know. And one last thing. Try not to wake the other guests. They might not take it take very nicely to it. Alright, mate. So whatever you say. Tommy's truck? A car. A second car. A third car. Oh, reception. Hmm. It was nice and warm inside. What are these pictures? Except there was a smell, a type of musky smell you get from old houses and no mattress? What the fuck, dude? Couldn't have slept there. I'll sleep on the ironing board. Or in here. Oh. Why can I hide in here? Ah! What the fuck, man? What are you doing here? <laughs> oh, fuck, dude. You scared the crap out of me. I should be asking you. I'm Tommy, room service. Here at the Railway Inn, the finest stop over in Northwood. What are you doing in there? You know, cleaning stuff. Guy at the front desk gave me this room. Here, here, here. I'm going to have to ask you to step out while I make the room. 
I'll just get my stuff. What the fuck, bro? What are you doing in here? I don't think I'm meant to be back here, but not approved occupancy. Not approved for occupancy? That is a bit sus. We really needed to get some energy soda. No, you don't. You're trying to go to bed, mate. Thanks, mate. Had a word with Joe about this situation. What is wrong with these people? Mercy, mercy, mercy. But don't you worry, it's safe here. I go get your car. And also, the room phone is not working. If need anything, just ask the front desk. We've been trying to get it fixed, but we haven't been seeing enough guests lately. But you have a good night. I'll close my door, squirt. I'm trying to get my stuff. <sighs> Why is he walking so creepy and slow? Where's he going? Oh, he's, he's out of there. Fuck turning the car on, hey. Just, just start driving. I bullied someone. Let's have a nap. I'm the newer. Call it foresight, but there was something very off about this place. The tiredness was overcoming me. A hot cup of coffee would help, I thought to myself. Dude, this is fucked, man. Do you sell drinks here, squirt? Increase buy any items increase your sprint speed. For what? I'll have some chocolate. Why not? Where do I get coffee, man? Don't tell me this is a coffee machine. Oh my god, at this guy's door too. Definitely bothering this guy. Been fucking done over. Oh my god. What do I do? Oh, I got full chills right now. Pass out. Oh my god, dude. That just was the most disorienting thing I've ever fucking watched. 3.18 a.m. I haven't texted mum and dad either. I was sedated. This is... This is the room phone doesn't work. This ain't my room. No, it is. The fuck, man. Oh, I got chicken skin, bro. Holy shit, dude. All right, let's get back in. <laughs> oh, fuck. That scared the shit out of me, man. Okay, I gotta. I'll, just, I'll dart through this. Ollie back tonight. Ollie. Pipe down. 
Ma, I'm at a hotel. Oh, can't send it. Didn't see that last time. The old expresso of death, huh? Bad choice. Boom. Passes out. We're back. New territory. I don't know what's gonna happen, man. I know he's in the closet. I don't know what the fuck to do about that. 3.18 a.m. Fuck, dude. Didn't feel safe going out. Doesn't feel safe staying in. What am I to do here? Huh? What is... What is there... Possibly to do? Rinsing my face off because I'm like still wigging out and still zoinked, okay? What the fuck, man? This is fucked. My feet are sweating. This guy's just knocked on my door. Open the door. Who is it? Joe from front desk. Open the door. Hey Joe. You got big lips on you, don't you squirt? Don't I specifically tell you not to wake anyone up? I have complaints. What are you making all those goofy noises for? Whatever it is, just keep it down, miss. Is that why your eyes are all red? Mention the coffee machine. Are you messing with me? We don't have no coffee machine here. It's right over there. Okay, okay. Here I've had enough of your crazy go goons here. For once I thought... We had a sober guess, but I guess I'm I'm cra I'm the crazy one here. I hate my job. There definitely was a coffee machine, Joe. I promised you, champ. And there's also someone in my closet. Where to go? Where's it? Joe, I swear. Oh. He just walked off. I swear to God it was right here. I said go back now. There should be some medications in your room. That should offer you some relief. Check the, tab the table by the TV. What did... Okay, thanks mate. Medication, this is going to me out. Requires water. Okay. Fucking hell dude. What's this medication going to do to me? Is it going to zoink me out again or what? No, I'm good. Alright. Yeah, look at this shit, dude!
What the fuck? Hello? Nope. What? What's I to do? What do I do? Hello? Why is he saying hello? Am I door? Alright. I'll open the door. Hello. I'll endorse ya. Who is it? Please open the door. I need help. Oh good. I know you're in there. I just need to talk to you, I swear I'm not a cop. Please go away, I'm going to call the cops. Good lady, come on. To this day, I find it really weird that the manager inferred not to get police involved as it would have affected Motel's reputation and let go of the situation. I believe that the town could have been home to a cult or drug ring or possibly something even worse. Tommy arrived with the car after that, after what felt like a year. I never went on long road trips again. I would always take aeroplanes. Holy shit, man. Survivor? I don't think so. If you guys enjoyed that, man, make sure to leave a like. That was Fears of Fathom Episode 2. A uh, really fun playing that, man, but holy shit, that was scary. <laughs> Look, man, once again, leave a like if you guys enjoyed. Leave a comment as to what I should do next episode. I'll keep making these uh, survival games, and I'll keep making these horror games too. But, um, yeah. Thank you guys so much. Peace out.